Hi, I am Huertero Chris. Welcome to the Guard Owl. Today we're going to be doing the sign of Libra for the month of November 2020. I have pre-shuffled the cards and we're going to go ahead and get right into this, okay? Silence I ask of the Holy Kindred, sons and daughters of La Santissima Muerte, high and low. At your waist fall, mother, I will relay the things unspoken of, forgotten, and kept in secret. Heat and cold, as I walk through this home, a far scene which rise in tarot. All right, Lego, let's see what we got going on. Ooh, Libra, your card, the justice card for the entire month of November 2020, crowning your month. Okay, we have the star in reverse, followed by the Hierophant in reverse, followed by the Tower, Ooh followed by the Empress, and the Lovers in reverse. Mind you, Libra, we also had your monthly card at the very top, Justice, which is your associated card, in the reverse. So lots of reversals this month for Libra in the Major Arcana. So under your crowning cards, we do have the Two of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. Queen of Cups. Eight of Pentacles. And the King of Pentacles. All right, Libra, let me go ahead and show you your spread without the glare. Okay, Libra, so starting with your associated tarot card for the month of November 2020, we have the Justice card in reverse. It is your associated card. Um, in the month of November, you may be feeling a little lack of uh, being able to be social. And just like Gemini, this is a very important quality for you. Um, and that's what I'm getting for uh, some of you Libras in the month of 2020 with this uh, associated justice card in the reverse. Okay, so definitely try to work a little bit on your social skills. I'm getting it has a lot to do with with some of you Libras kind of like giving in into the scamdemic um, with the whole quarantine thing. And um, for some of you Libras kind of just at the beginning of things, you know, really having like everybody else having to give into doing a lot more messaging, a lot more emailing, you know, texting and whatnot. Um, and for some of you Libras, I'm just kind of starting to get the feel like it, it's a little overdone now. It's a little overrated and it's kind of causing a little bit of a, I don't want to say a lethargic type of vibe for you, but just to kind of feel like, you know, when people are starting to text you or message you like on messenger, uh, you look at the messages and you just don't feel like messaging back. So that's what I'm getting with the justice card here in the reverse for, for the month of November, 2020 for Libras. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started with the remaining cards for your sign. Libra, the star in reverse over the two of pentacles. Um, not a whole lot of new beginnings going on. Um, and writing over the two of pentacles, um, you know, with this star in the reverse over the Two of Pentacles, kind of a, a vibe of like not being able to get things started. Um, and I'm getting for some of you Libras, you, you probably have some people around you that are kind of causing a bit of a... Oh, it feels a little bit more like, uh, like a stalled ox kind of vibe. Um, a little bit of obstacle, um, a little bit of getting in the way for some of you Libras. Um, and this is kind of causing some of you Libras 
to kind of take a step back and and you kind of are reconsidering how should I do things? How should I go about getting one project done uh, and then moving on to another project? And then even with that in mind, which project do I begin with before I move on to the next one? Um, and for some of you other Libras, having some people being a bit of an obstacle, getting a, in, a bit in the way of, of starting new projects. Uh, ideals new new projects that you have in mind um and a lot of this can happen around people within the family household um children uh i'm getting for some of you libras possibly some elderly that might possibly be living with you i'm not really seeing grandma and grandpa i'm seeing a couple of uh, libras you know a small handful of libras probably with like an aunt or an uncle uh that you're kind of just possibly looking after um and so this is kind of causing a little bit of a ripple in you trying to get things started and get things done. Uh, not to say in a negative way that these family members uh, within the family household, uh, you know, I don't want it to sound negative that they're an obstacle, you know, in a negative way. Uh, definitely not. But uh, for some of you Libras that are just kind of like trying to figure out how to get things moving and to shift around them, um, you may have to, you know, reshuffle your cards, so to speak, with this two of pentacles and really kind of like buckle down because I kind of feel like uh whatever these situations at home may be even if it's not looking after somebody there may be other current situations going on where it's just kind of got you you know between a rock and a hard place and you haven't really actually sat down and buckled down and like you know you, i'm getting the sense like you literally have to sit down with pen and paper and and write out like to-do lists or or a plan okay um and that would involve people within the family's household, including yourself, um, getting down to structure. Okay. Um, moving forward, we have the Hierophant in reverse over the eight of swords in reverse. So your traditional way of life, and this is falling in the social line of things. Uh, I'm getting that this is going to be a very social type, uh, reading for a lot of you Libras, um, because it, it's, it's very social. Um, the Hierophant represents a lot of like organization, lots of tradition. And with the eight of swords in the reverse, um, even though the eight of swords, if, even if it was in the upright, it, it would, it would kind of represent like somebody or some people being a little bit, um, a little tied down, um, not really, wanting to deal with too much that's going on around you, almost kind of like trying to get into the introvert type of vibe uh, for some Libras. Um, but here it's in the reverse and it's almost kind of like you're kind of missing that. Uh, and, and this definitely falls under the social line of things with this Hierophant in the reverse as well. So definitely missing now uh, a little bit of that social light activity. Um, but at the same token, kind of like feeling like you have to push yourself at the same time. And so going back to this two of pentacles, that can also be counteracting some of that, you know, um, Again, I, I don't want to use that word lethargic kind of feel or vibe, but that, that's the word that keeps on coming up. It's like a lethargic feeling when you pick up the phone or your tablet or your laptop uh, or you're sitting at the home computer and, and you're looking at the screen and messages are coming in. You're reading them, but you just really don't feel like getting to them. Um, and it's just a feeling of being overdone. It's overrated. Uh, life has become a little overrated for the for the for the Libras, and with this Justice card in the reverse, which is your associated card, Libra, this has become the most unjustifiable thing for you. Uh, it is not the norm for you moving forward with the Tower, um, crowning over the King, the Queen of Cups. Um. So a little bit of a shocker coming in somewhere in the middle of, of November 2020, which is actually kind of right around the corner because we're already like, what, pretty much one weekend. Um, so there's definitely going to be a little bit of a shocker coming around the corner. Um, and it just might actually be you because with this Queen of Cups in the reverse, I'm seeing that it's not going to be a shock for you, but it's going to be a shock to others around you. Yet at the same token, it might kind of reverse back towards you, uh, in the way that people retort, whatever this shocker may be, um, you know, it, it may be, it may be something kind of like I'm getting for some of you Libras, uh, you're going to kind of like retreat, uh, or go like on a, on a, on a solo retreat of sorts. Um, 
just trying to f- like figure yourself, trying to find yourself. And again, going back to the beginning, talking about like, you know, sitting down, putting pen to paper, that's like going on a retreat. You know, it takes concentration time. And so this is what I'm getting with the tower. You're just going to kind of like feel like for some of you Libras wanting to retreat and kind of do some introspection, kind of do some soul searching. And it's kind of, it's going to kind of like shock people because you're just going to kind of like completely close off. And sometimes, you know, not just you Libras, but everybody, sometimes we just kind of have to shut everything off for a little bit, you know, for a day or two, maybe even a week and just completely disappear, you know, from from social networking and whatnot and just regroup ourselves um and again the word overrated keeps on coming up for me for a lot of you libras out there uh you may feel like the whole quarantine thing has become overrated uh literally overnight like everybody else you've had to adjust to a new way of 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 being social and now that new way of being social has become quickly overrated because nobody was really prepared for how we were going to have to do things you know once the scamdemic hit as hard as it did and so literally overnight everybody had to like adjust and adapt and 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 as quick as that happened you know you know being slammed with that it 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 overexerted kind of like your energy. So definitely with this tower moment right here that's going on with some of you Libras over the Queen of Cups in the reverse, definitely going into introspection. So this Queen of Cups in the reverse definitely is not a, a negative card. Don't look at it that way. And especially with this tower right above it, definitely not negative. Um, but maybe a little negative for some people out there, you know, they might kind of retort like, you know, like, oh, well, you kind of just became about yourself or I don't know what's wrong with such and such. Uh, you know, they just completely closed off and, and, you know, some might people, some, some people might feel like, you know, I, I guess I did something wrong. What did I do? And, you know, they won't understand until a little, it might be a little bit of a shocker, but that's okay. Let that happen. Don't, you know, it's not a time for you to worry too much about other people's, you know, worries. Um, you need to worry about yourself sometimes. And so this is a moment for you to regroup and to replenish yourself with this tower and this queen of cups in the reverse, doing some introspection, sitting down and doing your to-do list and, and how to get things done and how you want to get things done. Moving forward, we have the empress over the eight of pentacles. So with this empress over the eight of pentacles, this is going to be falling towards the end of the month. Finally, once you've done a little bit regrouping, some replenishing, um, some introspection work, um, definitely coming back with the Empress, taking your throne back and then getting down to the nitty gritty right here with this eight of pentacles, um, and really taking charge, you know, and that's what the Empress is, is, uh, sitting down on her throne. She doesn't become Empress just overnight out of nowhere for nothing. She becomes Empress because she, she, she buckled down and got things, you know, settled in the way that she feels she feels like she needs to so with that said libra by the end of november taking your throne back coming back from replenishing and whatnot and 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 getting to work um and actually with this eight of pentacles being very confident you see this guy right here in the eight of pentacles getting his work done but looking very confident you know chest out you know and 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 arms strong you know very strong in thought uh very focused and knowing exactly what's going on with how you're going to do things and going back to this two of pentacles being in hand now moving forward to this eight of pentacles uh you see those two pentacles being put down and no longer juggling, you know, how I'm going to get things done or, 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 you know, what should I do first and being a little bit of a, like a chicken with your head cut off running around, uh, putting those two pentacles down, you know, not juggling between things anymore and actually getting some work done finally. Um, and feeling confident that, that, you know, you, you're, you're free from a little bit of stress of, of running around like a chicken with your head cut off, so to speak. Okay. Um, you should definitely start feeling like that Libra. So by the end of November, uh, we have the lovers here in the reverse crowning over the King of Pentacles. Um, again, with this lovers here, a lot of people think that the lovers card is, you know, yes, it's a show it's associated with Gemini, but, um, you know, there's a lot of qualities to that. And in the reverse, I like this because Gemini's are typically, uh, big thinkers and they're consistently thinking of all sorts of things all at once and that's what the lover's card here portrays with the Gemini energy but in the reverse uh, it's really not so much a romantic card in this reading so to speak what this is really talking to me about is uh, 
then again, reinforcing no more uh, running around in your head, trying to get certain things into place. Uh, this is actually reinforcing the rest of the reading for me. Um, continued from the Empress over the Eight of Pentacles um, and now moving into full form with the lovers over the King of Pentacles, again, taking back that throne. So, you know, the lovers, you know, the Gemini type mind and energy um, in reverse, meaning you put a lot of thought into things, uh, decision making. Um, and, and, and now that it's in the reverse, you know what you're doing and you will have gotten a lot of things done. And moving on through the month of December, all the way into the new year, you're definitely going to be like this king of pentacles. Like if you move forward. This Eight of Pentacles right next door to the King of Pentacles, working hard on, on everything that you set out to do. You know, you set out your plan. You sat down with pen and paper. You set out your plan. You know, you know what you're doing now. And then once you have moved on from the Eight of Pentacles, you will then be the King of Pentacles and holding in your hand and, and, and showing, you know, to those around you, see, this is what can be accomplished. And that is exactly what you're also going to see for yourself is accomplishment. That's what we're shooting for, for the end of the month of November is being confident in accomplishment and turning that justice card that, that, you know, your associated Libra card, the justice card that's in the reverse, turn it right side up. All right, Libra, that is all I have for you for the month of November, 2020. I hope you enjoyed it. Kick me down some comments. Let me know how your month is going if you'd like. Um, and also if you would like to, you can go ahead and kick me down a, uh, an email if you're interested in getting a personalized general tarot card reading with me, get in touch with me at theguardowl at gmail.com. All right, Libra, November 2020. God bless y'all.